people often think of field goals as being harder for being farther away, but that's not the main problem. Field goals in the NFL, Neil, can make or break a game, particularly long distance ones. But once that ball gets snapped and you hold it, what sort of difference does the angle of the player holding it make? I can't speak with authority on this, but I, I would bet different kickers have d different preferred angles. But let me just say, your foot it has a round front to it, and the ball is round. And when round things hit round things, a fraction of an inch can make a difference between something that careens off to the left, uh, goes too high, or is exactly where you want it to be. Did, what was his name, Dempsey? He had a club foot? Right, right, so he had a birth defect, and he had a special shoe fitted to his foot, and the front side of that shoe was completely flat. So, he hit a round ball with a flat surface. Was that, that an advantage? That was completely an advantage, because that removes the, the the precisional uncertainty between a round surface hitting another round surface. Let's look at the planetary rotation. Does that, oh, not, oh, yeah, does yeah, that not engage with a field kick? So if you have a north-south stadium, and many are, if it's oriented that way, and the kicker kicks the ball, depending on how high and how long it's in the air, the rotation of the earth can have a significant effect on its trajectory towards the goalpost. If you're trying to make a 50 yard field goal, that's far away enough. And the ball is airborne long enough for the rotation of the earth to deflect it to the right by a third of an inch. Cincinnati Bengals against, I forgot who was it, uh, Seattle Seahawks in overtime, sudden death kick. And the kick went up and everybody's heart stops and no one breathes and there it tumbles and it hit the left upright and went in for the win, but kind of barely went in. And then I tweeted, I said, this game was won assisted by the rotation of the earth. And that force that makes that happen is the same force that sends hurricanes rotating counterclockwise in the Northern Hemisphere and clockwise in the Southern here. And oh, by the way, talk about wind. You know, they're playing games in empty stadiums now. People, the fact that you are this thing sitting there in a chair and you're not smooth, any wind that would otherwise circulate unimpeded among the seats uh, has friction against the fans. You would expect wind speeds and wind gusts, especially gusts, to be higher in a perfectly cleaned out stadium than in one that has 50,000 screaming fans. The direction the flags are going is not always the direction the wind is blowing down on the field. So what you should have in the modern stadium is anemometers throughout the stadium, <laughs> all right? These are the wind speed detectors that you can say, oh, it's 12 miles an hour over there, five miles an hour over here. Let me hit the ball in this direction or kick the ball that way. I would just love to see Neil as a field goal kicker running out on the field just going, I'm gonna need a protractor. No, a protractor. <laughs> Two animals, please. <laughs>